Elsewhere, families of victims of defilement in Busia County are accusing investigative agencies of conducting shoddy investigations resulting in dismissal of the cases. The families say the perpetrators continue to walk free as the cases are often thrown out owing to lack of evidence of sufficient evidence to sustain the trial. They are now demanding watertight investigations that will result in persecution of the perpetrators and justice for the victims. The justice system in Busia County is on the spot following claims of shady work resulting in little or no convictions for perpetrators of defilement. The families of victims of defilement allege the system has been unfair to them with a number of cases dragging in court while some end up with lenient sentences. Benedict Odiambo, a Butula resident, says his 15-year-old girl was gang raped by five men in 2016 and he reported the matter at Bumala police station. However, the perpetrators were acquitted by the court owing to lack of sufficient evidence. <laughs> kitu ningeomba kama naweza pata usaidizi nataka haki itendeke kwa mtoto wangu nijue vile kesi iliendelea na vile ikatupwa atakuna evidence na mtoto wangu alipatikana kama amekuwa defiled Evelyn Nanjala from Ongaroi Teso South is also crying for justice for her teen daughter she says her quest for her she says her quest for justice for her daughter so her deplete all her resources but she is yet to get justice her daughter was defiled in 2010 at the age of 15 by a neighbor who is well known in the area. She says in the process her daughter was impregnated and gave birth to a boy child and says the case did in favor her. She was left to take care of the boy after the court cleared the culprit. Kuja kwangu akaniambia mama Kenya na kuomba ni hii. Wacha nikulipe 1015 tutupe hii kesi. Nikaambia yeye pesa haitoshani na uhai ya mtu. Alex yetanga kaniambia ulikuwa unakimbia tu wewe ndio unajua sasa umepata nini kapaki tu hivyo nimepoteza ngombe sangu mbili nimepaki na mtoto hakuna usa Paul Murunga an advocate of the High Court and Programs Officer for End Sexual Violence in Africa at Equality Now however said most cases on sexual violence are acquitted or even perpetrators end up getting lenient sentences due to a number of reasons Yes karibu na prosecutor itafika dakika unaona mnaanza kukua maadu now immediately mnaanza kuwa madui hiyo kesi isharibika kuna wakati file inafichwa mahali ili isipatikane na unapofuatilia uh, wanaona like wewe ni kama adui kotini kwa mfano mtoto anadifailiwa akiwa na 16 years Atafika 22 years, case haijamulika kotini. Deputy Director of Children's Services, Patrick Mukolwe, revealed that the culture and traditions surrounding the issue of gender and sexuality in African society makes it difficult for the victim to report the case to the relevant authority on time, especially when the case is involving a close family member. He appealed to the government to support the county by establishing children protection centers and courts across the seven Busia sub-counties to reduce the workload. The parents might be bribed what we call kangaroo courts. They sit at home, agree. They are paid small stipends like 10,000, 5,000 to make sure that they don't go further to follow up the case. Patrick further added that the issue of corruption and bribery are some of the challenges hindering progress of the same cases. Yusuf Channel 1 News.